Okay, so I have to give this one, I have to give this one a, a, a lot of time. We are now in chapter 4 where we met Deborah. We met Deborah this morning and it was amazing to meet her because Deborah is um is introduced in an interesting way. It says now, uh, Deborah rose a prophet, a wife, and a judge in that order. She was a prophet by, um, prophet by what God had put in her because each one of us women listen god has anointed you with the grace that's on your life and that's the first thing that we interface with the grace that's on your life when he says in psalm 139 verse 14 going down that i knit you together you know i knit you together i put every chromosome and every whatever of your DNA, I put it together and God created a prophet. It wasn't a baby girl. God created a prophet in a, in a, in a nation that didn't, um, you know, give women not much uh, credit or, or recognition, but this is a, a Deborah who is already been formed to be a prophet. So first thing first, what is the call of God on your life? And we want to see that activated over your life, um, uh, women and men, but it's just that like we're talking to a Deborah that's why uh, about Deborah that's why I'm talking to the women in particular and then after that she is a wife after having passed through all the stages of being a daughter a sister she is a wife to Lapidoth Lapidoth seems like he's that laid-back guy who who really doesn't hmm, you know he's not under pressure he even says to his wife and she's going for war okay honey see you when you're back she knows uh, he knows he's married to a hardcore babe oh my god God, that is so powerful, eh? Hardcore. To all the men who are married to Deborah's out there, Deborah's out there, De Deborah, Deborah, Deborah out there, please make sure that you take care of her. And when you stay at home and she's going to win battles, remain praying, okay? Because the Bible doesn't tell us what <laughs> Lapidoth remained doing. And I'm sure he remained with the family and he, he was a good man. He was a good man to release his wife to become everything that... um she is supposed to be so pom pom to all the men's to the men out there to all the men's oh god well, my, my mouth is like this morning but uh god is good all the same um so a uh, uh, shout out to all the men who are married to powerhouse women and are supporting them and are not bringing them down and uh allowing the leading ladies to lead god bless you so much but something really interesting it caught me um uh, uh this morning and i shared about it uh, another day uh on facebook the other day i put it on facebook that until i uh, deborah arose a mother uh judges chapter 5 is 7 but i'd not seen it in that way it, um, when i posted it i was saying i was just encouraging women to rise up as mothers women in leadership to rise up as mothers but i'm i'm so interested in that um deborah himself or intrigued rather not even interested intrigued by the fact that deborah says okay i know i'm a prophet i know i'm a wife i know i'm a judge that's okay but i choose to identify with the title of being mother oh man motherhood motherhood and motherhood remember i'm not talking to the women who have carried babies in, the, in their bellies because you might disqualify yourself and say oh, no i'm not a mother because i've not managed to have kids but motherhood is a title when you choose to embrace those around you even though they are not your biological children you're an amazing mother there's a friend of mine uh, who 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 mothered these kids um from her husband you know she couldn't have her own but she made such impact she is a mom she is an amazing mom and uh, i want to celebrate all those moms who are moms and have not had their own biological children god bless you and he increase you now not only that since i'm talking about the girls i want to talk about jail in the next video <laughs>